Hello everyone, this is Brielle from HPA, and today we will be discussing the pathways to nursing. There is no undergraduate degree in nursing at UC Davis, so students can feel free to major in something that they are interested in and passionate about. Here, there are some different pathways that apply to undergraduates currently pursuing a degree in a field other than nursing. There is the ABSN program, which is the Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and there is also the ELMSN, which is the Entry Level Master of Science in Nursing. The differences usually lie in the scope of practice and level of specialty. The ABSN program is approximately 12 to 18 months, and you would apply to this program after you've earned a bachelor's degree in a field other than nursing. For some ABSN programs, they allow you to have a degree in progress, so you would want to check with the school. The TEAS exam and a GPA of 3.0 and higher is typically required for entry. The ABSN program provides you with the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and prepares you for the NCLEX exam to obtain your RN licensure. You will then be prepared for entry-level positions in a variety of settings, including hospitals, community clinics, long-term care, home care, and community health agencies. Graduates can work as staff nurses in areas such as maternity, pediatrics, gerontology, mental health, public health, and medical surgical nursing. You are also able to apply to a Master of Science in Nursing program after working for a while as an RN if you decide to further your education. We then have the ELMSN programs, which again stands for the Entry Level Master of Science in Nursing or the Master Entry Program in Nursing, MEPN. These two terms are interchangeable. Again, you will apply to this program after earning a degree in a field other than nursing. These programs are usually 24 to 36 months and typically require the GRE or HESI exam. The first part of your schooling goes towards obtaining your RN licensure. The second part will be the master's program portion. For the general ELMSN, this is important to consider if you are unsure about whether or not you are ready to specialize and you may need to do further research on the fields of specialty. After receiving this degree, you do have the option of working for a year or two and then applying to a specialty program once you have decided. There are also some ELMSN programs that offer a specialty within the master's degree. In this case, you will graduate as an advanced practice nurse with a specialty such as family nurse practitioner, health policy nursing, nurse midwifery, clinical nurse specialist, case management specialist, occupational and environmental health nursing, and clinical nurse leader. Specialty education varies at each university. In summary, you have three options. You can choose to go the ABSN route where you come out with the Bachelor of Science in Nursing and your RN licensure. Secondly, you can choose the general ELMSN route where you receive an RN licensure and a Master of Science in Nursing without a particular specialty. And lastly, you can choose the other ELMSN route that happens to be specialized where you receive both your RN licensure and Master of Science in Nursing, but you will also graduate with a designated specialty.